I'm back. What's going on YouTube? Day number eight daily vlogs. Gotta love them. All right. In a minute, I'm gonna show y'all a video. Um, my truck, the one I drive every day, the 9400i. I do have, it's an upgraded Bully Dog Turbo, and the boost is turned up on it. It is a 585 horse, 322nd rear ends, and this morning I was bobtailing, home, uh, bobtailing from uh, home down to Miami in the rain, and uh, yeah, let me know if uh, y'all have this problem when y'all are bobtailing also. You're cruising, and... It might be in the tune I have on this truck, but it, it's tuned for being able to haul heavy, even though I haul light now, but I mean, it gets you up to speed real quick. But um, when the boost comes on, the boost comes on. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm driving, and once I, I even just rolling into the throttle a little bit, once, once it, the boost kicks in, it, uh, little butt end of the truck will step out on it even just rolling into throttle so let me know if y'all driving your truck bobtail makes you kind of nervous and makes your butthole pucker because this one does on mine i mean i love this truck i mean i've worked on this truck i built this truck i love this truck this is the first one I've ever gotten paid off but uh when you're going to build a truck, make sure you take everything into uh, into context, especially on an older one that doesn't have that whole traction control and stuff like that. It's one thing to consider. Another thing, y'all, hold on. I'll let y'all see this video real quick. All right, y'all. I'm going to roll into the throttle. Y'all can listen to it. I'll let you know when it breaks traction again. Build a truck, make sure you ain't got too much power, you're not bobtailing too much. Alright, now that y'all have seen the video, uh, yeah, just know that's just rolling into the throttle, and all of a sudden the little butt of the truck will just step out on it a little bit. Um, yeah, it wasn't raining that that hard, the ground wasn't that that wet. I got some good rubber on the back, no problem, air, air pressure's perfect on it. Um, Tires were up to temperature, but it's just one of those things, y'all. You know how it is if you're bobtailing in the rain. It feels kind of sketchy. You don't feel as planted as you are during the daytime. Um, that's just been today. Right now, I'm at the airport at Miami-Dade, picking up a load here at Amazon. Just, uh, just waiting on to load the truck. The plane just landed, so I should have my freight here within the next 20 minutes. Just taking it right up the road eight miles and then coming back over here again for a second load that the trailer will be preloaded then going back up about 20 miles and for the whole day i'd have only done maybe 54 miles that's not too bad especially for the pay it's at it comes out to being let's see last time i did the uh did the math it was just over eight dollars a mile can't complain on that aspect uh especially when you're only spending about four or five hundred dollars a week in fuel um uh, yeah again the views have been going up you guys i appreciate that i have been contacted and uh by the uh asian my show to do an interview i think i'm gonna do that dude sounds like a really cool guy um we talked for about 45 minutes today real down-to-earth guy and uh, just wants to learn more about the trucking industry. He's in it already, but really cool cat, man. He comes from a, uh, basically a uh, mortgage, not mortgage, a um, realtor background a little bit when he was younger. Real down-to-earth guy. One of my favorite, favorite channels. All right, y'all. Not your average trucker. One of the most down-to-earth dudes you'll ever meet. Keeps it real 100%. And he's helped me out a lot during this channel so far. And uh, real cool guy. I want you all to go check him out if you haven't already. 
Um, but yeah, not much going on here. Just running local freight. I uh, got done talking to my buddy a little earlier. He's over the road still. And every time he said, man, I wish I could be home. And you can. Anybody can do this, y'all. It's, uh, it just depends if you want to take a little bit of a pay cut from over the road just to, just to be home and have a life. I mean, everybody else has got to make that decision. If you want to be local, put in your time, y'all, and, uh, get your experience up. Most of the local places that don't train are at least asking for three years minimum experience. Uh, I'm no different. I won't hire anybody that ain't got at least three years experience. But, um, yeah, you guys, just hit me up, uh, again. The ones that always comment, not your average trucker, again. And the yellow dude. What is it, a yellow something trucker. I never remember your name when I'm shooting these videos. But I appreciate you. I'm going to try for next video... I will remember your name, all right? It's like yellow flower truck in or something like that. I will remember it, I promise you. And you will get a shout out next video. All right, um, another thing, diet's still going good, y'all. Still down a little bit of weight. You see what my meal is today? Cashews, gotta love them. Cashews and water. So, not too much going on today. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little more uh, back to my style. I'll be running at night again. I'm not used to being up during the day. I mean, I'm a nocturnal person. So, yeah. Y'all hit me up in the comment section. Hit that like button. Subscribe and hit that bell for the notifications. Y'all have yourselves a wonderful day. Keep the rubber side down. Take it easy, y'all.